Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to show you these post-processing nodes called images that are in 6.1. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, by the way, there's this page here where you can download some automotive studio lighting rigs. There's a link here and the car model can be downloaded here. So if you want to follow along, I'll put a link in the description for you. Okay, so we've got our scene here, car scene, studio scene with a, an area, Arnold area light, lighting the scene. So say we've rendered our scene and we maybe want to change the exposure, we'd have to re-render the scene, we'd have to set the exposure uh, here in the lighting to change it, or maybe we want to change the specular contribution to to adjust some of the specular lighting on the, on the car paint. But that would require a completely new re-render. Another simpler way to do this, which could give you more control, is to use images. So in the Arnold Renderer tab, the render setup, we've got images here. You can also create them in the Sleep Material Editor. Just type imager, you can see our images here. So I'm going to start off by creating exposure, just to give us a basic uh, exposure change to the image. So we'll have to connect it, I'll have to click and drag the output there to the images in the render setup window. So now we've made the connection. So I'm going to just try lowering the exposure a bit. Remember you can use the snapshot button to keep your snapshot so you can chart your progress as you're going along. Uh, next, uh, let's try a tone map. So you just chain them by connecting it to the input. And I'm going to change it to Filmic. You can see the effect is having just, just uh, softens the edge of that highlight there, which is quite nice. Next, uh, we can use a color correct. So again, just chain that. Maybe we want to change saturation, maybe lower it or increase it. We can do that quite easily here. Uh, then we could use a, a white balance. So again, chain that. Uh, we could you change the temperature. So we could either manually type a number. We could use a custom color maybe. Without all that having to re-render the image. Okay, and then finally we've got lens effect. So if we want to add a vignetting effect, we can add that and just helps frame the image better. So, so you're happy with that? Oh, there's the previous one, by the way. We can cycle between the two. We've also got the enable. So if we want to just do a before and after to see how each one looks, we can toggle on and off how that affects the overall image. Okay, so that's a brief introduction to images. Thanks for watching. Bye.